Hey everybody, welcome to another video. This time it's Hotel Business Simulator. Testing this out as I was given a, very kindly a key for it. So we're gonna go straight into the game. No messing about here. I did try and adjust the settings because I thought there might be music, but so far there's been no music whatsoever. So it's a fairly quiet game. Over the years, my passion for the hotel business grew. Finally, the moment came when I decided to turn my dream into a reality. I purchased this building and we'll make it the best hotel in the area where guests will feel special. First, I need to get the room ready for the guests to move in. Where are I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was thinking, where's the hotel? Because I was looking the other way completely. Um, this is supposed to be run, so there we go. E to open and close. Why do they make it E? Oh, it annoys me. I don't think you can change the keys either on this. Um, you can't actually change anything. Okay, interesting. So I'm using the arrow keys to move. Oh no, you can use was. Okay, I'll, I'll have to do that then. E to open computer. Okay, I've got to unlock the room and furnish it with necessary items. See, there is music. That was what I was worried about. It says interact, but I can't do anything with it. Okay, that's interesting. Right, so which room is it? This one? Um, I assume it must be. Oh, I see you've got to hold E down. Is that the same for this? Shall we try that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's very odd. <laughs> Just doesn't want to play. That's not that's all right though. I don't want it playing, that's the point. Okay. Furnish with necessary items. I wonder how you find out what the necessary items are. I know that sounds silly because this is obviously a bathroom and this is obviously well it's a hotel room, isn't it? So it's a bedroom. Does do I have to guess or do we? Um Yeah, we're kind of thrown in at the deep end here, aren't we? Don't tell me, surely I don't have to go out to that computer. There's no, look, there's nothing for <laughs> keys or anything, so it's not telling me how to do it. Oh, inventory is Q. That would be good if you read that, Lee. Um, well, it's still not really telling me what it needs, is it? Unless that's it down there. So unless that just is a bed a bath, a sink, and a toilet. Guess it must be. Um, that, is that? No, nope, that ain't it. <laughs> must be the backpack then, I guess. No, okay. I'm supposing then I must have to go out to the computer and order those things. Do I have to unlock all of these rooms? I'll take a look in here. Is it just going to be the same? Yeah, probably. Okay. Well, I'm assuming we've got to go here then. It's a very quiet game, isn't it, really? Without any kind of music or anything. Shop Express, I suppose. Actually, before we do that, let's have a look, see if there's anything else on here. Lobby, what's that mean? 108. Oh, that's just if they're checked in, I suppose. All right, well, we'll just buy, buy that. Um, I wonder if it's all the stuff that's unlocked we got to buy. Now I'm just going to buy what was on that list. So it was a sink, a toilet, and a bath. Why 
Why is it not letting me buy uh, those things? Oh, I'll put the bed back on as well. Order in progress. Oh, delivery arrived. Ah, oh, balls. <laughs> so that, does that mean all that's ordered then? Oh, I'm super confused. All right. Oops. Have a look. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Could you park further enough away from the building if you tried? Yeah, that's probably the bed then. Uh, where does that go then? Surely that doesn't go in my backpack. It does as well. <laughs> That's mental. <laughs> now it's my phone binging in the background in case you wonder what that noise was. Sure. Check it shortly. I'm not going to play for very long tonight because I've got... Something planned for later. I just thought I might be able to get time to get this video done. All right. So, obviously, that's got to go in here. I can't believe there's a bed in my backpack. How mad. Place. Uh, rotate. Yep, there we go. Good. All right, well. Is that straight? I guess. <sighs> ah. I should get some sleep. I'll find a bed in the basement. That actually scared the ever-loving crap out of me. <laughs> My word. Is that because it's 10 o'clock? I guess it must be. But... Yeah, all right, mate. Let's simmer down a little bit, shall we? Now, did I even order the other stuff? Oh, no, I don't want the bed now. Oh, I, I'll probably need that for another room, so... Screw it, let's do that. All right, that's it. It says order in progress. Cool. Right, well... Find a bed in the basement. Shall we go and have a look? I have not seen any evidence of a basement. Still not seen any evidence of a basement. With all these like vacant, yeah, I know I'm obviously getting tired. Thank you. With all these like vacant rooms, can't I just sleep in a room for crying out loud? Basement. Oh, this don't look at all creepy, does it? Laundry. Oh, there we go. Well, that delivery driver is going to be out there for a while because <laughs> I've clearly got to go sleep because my eyes keep closing. Eight in the morning. Oh, that poor guy. He's had to sleep in his truck all night. <laughs> oh. This has got um, mixed reviews on Steam so far. Uh, apparently they're saying that there's not been a lot of um, support for the game since it launched. The last update was apparently in June, so I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, active or not. I really don't know, to be honest. I saw this on Keymailer and... Actually, I think they just offered me a key for this because I play a lot of these simulation games, don't I? I think they just offered me a key as far as I can remember. I was like, I'll give it a go. Oh, look at the sign up there. That looks terrible. I never noticed that before. Green Forest Hotel. Interesting. Okay. I'm not even going to check the backpack. We'll just go straight in and do what we need to do. I don't think I'd want to stay in here with such a bare bones room, but... Right. Q. Backpack. All right, so... I'll put the sink down first. Uh, okay. Interesting. Oh, there we go. I'm well, sure that needs to... Yeah. Slightly laborious process. Everything's back to front. Put you over there. I'll put the bath in this corner. 
I'm assuming it was a bath. It looked like a shower, didn't it? But hopefully this will be okay. Which will go this way. We'll leave that open at the end so we can put like something else in there if we need to. The richer the interior yeah. of the room, the more expensive it will be. Yeah, I kind of think I should make sure the linens on the beds are clean. Install a washing machine in the basement. So that's a cryptic clue in itself, isn't it? I thought I was going over to the bed to uh, check the quality of the bedding. And it turns out i got to go and uh, put a washing machine in. Can't even remember the damn basement was. <laughs> it's around the corner, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. We get the feeling my hotel is going to be very faulty towers. Right. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm just going straight to the basement. I've got to order the thing first, haven't I? Oh, my word. Should never put me in charge of this hotel. I'm not qualified. <laughs> I've played a couple of games on it, but that's about it. Oh, man. It, you could do with a tablet. I wonder if you get one at some point in this game. Because this is like, you know, having to keep coming back here every time. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, electronics, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's wait for Mr. Delivery to arrive. Oh, there's a, there's a car coming. Are you staying? Are you checking into the hotel, maybe? Time goes quick, doesn't it? It's, it's five o'clock already. Oh, here he comes. I wonder who's in the blue car. Could be my first guest, I guess. Hard to tell. Just park here. I don't know if, uh, surely I'm not going to fit a washing machine in my backpack. <laughs> yeah, clearly are. Someone's coming. You know what's going to happen, don't you? I'm going to... I'm going to get down to the basement with this washing machine and this idiot's going to ring the bell. Oh, screw it. I don't care. Actually, no, let's just wait. Because we know it's coming. There he is. Let's watch him. <laughs> you see, he would have done, wouldn't it? I knew it. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Um, do I... How do I talk to you then? Oh, I've just got to open the computer, clearly. Oh, well, no, because how do I know who you are? Lobby. Oh, okay. Check him. Oh, there he goes. Just like that. Sorry, the room's so crap. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Do a runner before he realises he's been ripped off. Mind you, $20 a night. Come on now. Absolute steal. It's all you'd be expecting for that kind of money, isn't it? A bed, a bath, a toilet, a sink. <laughs> Just carrying a spare bed around with me everywhere. That's handy, isn't it? Right. I think we should prepare more rooms. The more guests, the more profit. I like the way you think. Ah, uh, this way. <sighs> oh, for the love of God. Yes, I get the hint. For a hotel owner, 10 o'clock in bed every night. That's a bit of shit in it, really. It wasn't even night time. Like, clockwise it was night time, but I never saw it get dark. I wonder if my guest has already checked out. Don't look like it. Right, so... I guess we all do the same things. Suppose we do. So we don't need the bed. How about if we go with a budget shower in this one? Yeah, screw it. Right. 
We'll plonk the bed down while we're waiting. I was just going to walk into that room, see if he's still in there, but I thought it's a little bit impolite, isn't it, really? Even though it's just a video game. Spin you round. Right, should be time for my delivery. There he is, bang on time. Awkward bastard, I'm parking over there again. He must still be in his room because the car's over there. Not got a clue what time he has to vacate that room. Or I don't even know how long he's staying for, to be honest. Right, don't be an awkward guest and ring that bell when I'm in here, please. Okay, so. Then we've got a shower to place down. Uh... Oh, that's handy that it shows you the right way to put it. I mean, I was just about to say a second ago, I haven't got a clue where to put it. Yeah, that's cool. And we'll put the toilet in this corner. I can remember the bloody key. It's the sink. That was easier putting them on that side because I didn't even have to spin them around. So I'm assuming now that we can just check people in here now. I don't know if I have to do anything. Or we just let him stay. Yep, there's a car coming in. Guess number two is about to arrive. Um, let's see. So you're in there. One day. Oh, it's Joe Henderson. <laughs> Unless his name's Henderson Joe. I don't think it is, though. <laughs> Some kind of ID number, is that? Preferences. See, now, I, I think this is pretty cool so far. But, I mean... What does any of this stuff mean? He likes to drink. He likes to sleep. <laughs> does that mean? <laughs> Probably means he needs a double bed, a bar. I don't know what the hell that is. He needs light bulbs. And he needs a brush. Someone's coming in. I heard a noise. Well, that must have been their car door closing. Service with a smile. I'm actually grinning here, which you can't see, but don't ring the bell. He didn't. At least he's not rude. Welcome to 40 Towers, sir. How may I help you? Room for the night? Certainly. Cruise Carter. Interesting. All right, well. We have the first oh. review. The wishes of the guests should be carefully considered. The higher the popularity, the more visitors. Oh. Oh, he's just gone. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for staying. Oh, uh, God, what's he going to say? Boring room. So I guess that must mean clean. Good night's sleep, maybe. Don't know what that means. Yeah, maybe no bar and... Maybe that's a lighting thing. Like, you know, maybe it's a dark room or something. I'm going to have to go bed in a minute, aren't I? Let's see if we can unlock a couple more rooms before we... Would you say that? I haven't got a lot of money. And I'm only making $20 a night so far, so... I'm going to assume that it's going to want me to go bed in a minute, so we'll just might as well make our way over there, because... I just went straight past the basement then, didn't I? I'm assuming that time doesn't freeze when you get down here. 
I think it freezes when it gets to 10 o'clock for some weird reason. Mm. Yes, yes. I'll tell you what, I'm a creature of habit, go to bed at 10 o'clock on the dot every night. Oh, I'll keep doing that. What is that supposed to be as well? It's weird. I don't like it down here. I mean, surely I deserve one of these nice rooms. Got a lot of black spaces, haven't we? Just have a quick butchers around. There must be ways to build like a bar and stuff then. Maybe you can renovate rooms, like, you know, knock through walls or something to to build a bar or a restaurant or something. I don't know what I've got to do now, because... I've just got that one car parked in here. Can we do anything with that? It looks horrific. It's not telling me to do anything. It's just slightly concerning. Um, it's garbage. How quickly that time moves. It's just flying by. Oh, dirty. Okay, so... Does that mean I've got to go clean it then? Because that would be nice if you told me that. Oh, okay, yeah. How do I do that then? Okay. Oh, probably got to take it to the washing machine. I don't know how I clean anything. Oh, I know how I clean it. Come on, Lee. I forgot I had that. I'm assuming. I wish you could right click to do this thing. Oh, hang on. What am I doing? You can't, I suppose. No. That's a bit of a bummer, that. Um, it was this, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. Sounds like that bloke's leaving his room. What? All right. Yes, I'm coming. Do it all yourself. I'm coming. Crikey. You can't be checking in already. I haven't even changed the bed yet. All he wants to, by the looks of it. Um, he wants to stay two days as well. Screw it. <laughs> Here you go. Um... He might come out and complain in a second, but it's not my fault. They didn't give me any time to he's coming out of his room. He's going to complain. Well, I'm not before I go down to the washing machine, you're not. E. Remaining time. Oh, goodness me. I guess it's not ages to wait, but... Go for a quick nap? <laughs> Probably not. I say not ages to wait, but then when you're actually standing here waiting, it feels like a lifetime. I hope he's not hammering the bell out there. I'm assuming dismount is... I don't know, E to take. Alright. Got to barge into that bloke's room now. It's very bare bones on the instructions, isn't it? Sounds like he had a good time. Oh, God, I've got to clean that one up now as well. I can't... All right, well... Fair enough, then. Obviously, he doesn't want a sheet on his bed. <laughs> Bloke's a bit of a party animal by the looks of it. Alright, 
let's take that first. Someone just came in. My word, what the hell's been going on in here? Can I clean that at all? Don't know, really. I guess not. All right, fair enough. Well, it looks a bit dirty, but... I mean, to be fair, everything looks dirty, so it's like... No one's checking in yet. Are you kidding me? It's bedtime already. What the hell? Why do I keep hearing doors opening? Oh. Yes, okay. I was about to hit the hay, but what the hell? Let's just check you in first. Yeah, all right. It's very rude to do that where the guest's standing there. Another one called Cruise. That's a bit weird. What review did we get? It looks like everybody wants a bar. All right. Well, I think we've got a rough idea of what this game's about. <laughs> I guess at some point you're going to be renovating more rooms and stuff like that. But for the time being, it's check people in clear up their crap and then go to bed and it's very bare bones on the instructions which is a little bit disappointing it's quite funny I played another hotel game Hotel Renovator and I really like that that's a very good game the problem with that is you're constantly bombard being bombarded with things to do you're constantly being told what to do this one it's like kind of the opposite you're not getting told enough what to do. And if I'm going to have guests in the room like all the time. Then I don't really know how I'm supposed to. Do the rooms up. Well, let's. I'm going to make a fancy room. I mean it's not going to be that fancy because it's all economy stuff but. I do a bathroom with a shower, a sink, a toilet. Um, let's put a painting of flowers. Can we do that? It's not letting me. Oh, 10 out of 10 I've ordered. Okay. All right then, well, let's get rid of the... Get rid of the table. Because we've got a budget coffee table anyway. And. Maybe we'll do that instead. Um, something like that. We don't want anything too garish. Can we order more than one? We do four. Spending a lot of cash. This will be the last thing I'm probably going to do on this for now. If there's any interest in the comments, I'll play it a little bit more. But here he comes. So we're going to stand over here. Not if I stand in the road where they'll run me over. <laughs> uh, probably not going to test that out, to be fair. I know what the odds are as well. We've had two people check in with the first name of Cruz, which... You know, the apologies to anyone called Cruz that watches this video, but to my mind, that's not the most popular name in the world. I know David Beckham named one of his kids Cruz, but, you know, can't think of too many others, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Right. Better get a move on. Be bedtime soon. Let's do 106. Right, so before I do... 
Oh, no. It's only going to... Ah, oh, it's not going to be enough to do it all. <laughs> it just looks stupid now. Oh, that's really irritating. <laughs> oh, well. I was going to say I'll plonk all the other furniture down first so that someone doesn't come in and bug me. All right, let's put the... Oh, is that... It's got to be rotated by the looks of it. I thought it was the right way, but obviously not. No, oh, yeah, it's got the line on it. Okay, so we've got that. It's a bit annoying having to press Q every time to bring the thing up. This was supposed to be my fancy room, but it looks a bit silly now. It's uh, it's only like partially decorated, but never mind. On this side. It's a bit more fancy than the other rooms anyway. Can move that a bit close to the bed. Um, what else have we got to put in here? Should have gone a bit lighter on the furniture for this room, to be fair, because... It's not a whole heap of room. I've got a sofa to put in here yet. <laughs> I've just realised someone's on the move. Please don't ring the bell. Let's put that there. Okay, that's really going to look a little bit odd, but never mind. What have I got in here? It looks like a turkey. I assumed that, oh my god, this chair's massive. Oh, well, I'll just plonk it there. That looks really silly now. But it's like, <laughs> I wanted the coffee, t the coffee table to be there, that, that something that they could sit at, but never mind. What is that? What is going on? I don't like all these noises. This, I swear to god, this place is haunted. All right. No one's rung the bell though, so. <sighs> oh, bugger off. You're not going to bed yet. I don't care how many times you yawn. I'm going to put the toilet over here this time. All right, well, it's a bit better than last time. Not the uh, greatest room you'll ever design in the world, Lee, but... All right, yes, I'm on my way to bed before you nag me again. I think I lost a guest. Yeah, I've had three reviews, so... Maybe uh, it's waiting till I get another star before it gives me any more instructions. We get goes to bed at 10 every day, gets up at 8 on the dot every day. I wish I had a regular sleep pattern like that. I really can't do that sort of stuff. I go to bed when I, when I feel tired and I wake up, you know, when I can wake up. I don't really have a set schedule. Before we do anything, let's see what state these rooms are in. Oh, he's still in there. As I say, I assume this guy's gone because I heard somebody up and about. Oh, please don't be going to the bell yet. These people are so messy. I suppose I could always turn people away if it comes to it. Oh, have I really got to empty my hand to just open the door? That is really annoying. What is that as well? I mean, come on now. 
Uh, maybe I don't want to know, but... Right, and we got a... Yeah, so we don't have a clean blanket to put on. Oh, it's frustrating that we don't have like a stash, a stash of laundry. Oh, someone's coming in now, aren't they? Well, if you ring that bell, you're just going to have to wait. This is one of the most frustrating bits. It's like hanging around here waiting for this thing. I wonder if that thing in my inventory is a dirty sheet. So I might need to put this on and then put another one on straight after. Or I wonder if it cleans them both at the same time. Because that would be a bit of a pain in the butt if I have to put them in separately. We're going to find out because... We have to do it separately. All right. The bed with no sheet on currently, though, is the one that's occupied. So I'm guessing we're not going to get a great review for sleep. Oh, someone's coming in. Yeah, I knew it. Just couldn't let me have this, could you? Well, I don't care. They're waiting. Yes. Well, you're just going to have to wait. I don't care if that... Yes, I know. Please don't nag me. It's going to go at least another twice more. I'm on my way. Yes, I'm coming. Grandpa. Um, so we need to check him into 106. That's the expensive room as well. All right. Now, quickly, I need to go and change this sheet. Before I get someone else nagging me. There we go. Look at that. Get into this now. Someone just come in. Oh, did he check out? That wasn't the guy I just checked in, was it? No, he's in there. <laughs> I always feel bad. <laughs> like they're going to actually open the door, you know? All right, let's... It's nearly bedtime again already. I think that's one thing they've seriously got to... If they are still supporting this game, they've got to sort out the the day-night cycle. It's, you don't get any time at all before it's like... And, and this as well. This is a bit annoying. Having to do that. Oh, you are kidding me. My, it's actually stressing me out. <laughs> it's actually, I'm actually getting stressed. Yes, yeah, right, shut up, will you please? Oh, he must have gone out to his car, that guy. Okay, fair enough. Well, I don't know where you're going to go. Um. Oh, you can go 109. Right, okay. That was the right room, wasn't it? Yeah, thank God for that. I better get on this quickly or... Um, oh no, where do I put that? Um, I don't know. I'm not supposed to go up the stairs. I was trying to go around the stairs. Can I dump it? What do I do with this? I actually can't do anything with it. What's going on? Oh, garbage. There was garbage, wasn't there? On the computer. It doesn't make any sense, but you know what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> garbage. What does that do then? Because that did not get rid of that. It's got... Oh, no. Don't <laughs> nag me, please. Right, I'm starting to get stressed now. I'll save the game. Um, and we will quit to menu. It's probably the best idea. Right. Well, my overall thoughts of that, 
um, it's bare bones, shall we say. Um, there's rumours that I've read that they're not supporting this game. It's on Steam, it's in the comments on the reviews on there, that they've not been supporting this for quite some time. So if that's the case, it's a bit sad because there's definitely things they need to improve. And the, the, the time scale is crazy. Um, maybe if I was... If I can hire an employee, which that's something I didn't look into, they could have run the reception desk and maybe that would have been a bit easier on me than I could have like worried more about rooms and stuff like that. Or I could have got a cleaner in. That's something that I, I had to explore later in the game, potentially. I can go back and play a bit more if anybody's interested, but my overall thoughts were I've played better. And I don't mean to be insulting, but I think there's a game there for sure. Just needs a little bit of tweaking. It was starting to get a bit stressful at the end of that that there. So, you know, and also a few more like tutorials to tell you how to do things. That wheel as well, I think really and honestly, you need to put that on the mouse control. Apparently there was a joystick setting in this game, so you could use joystick. So I don't know if that would make it easier, but it was a little bit annoying having to keep press Q all the time to go in there. And every time you want to change tool, you've got to go into it to come out of it again. It would flow much better if it was on the mouse, personally speaking. That's, you know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a game developer, of course, but from an ease of control perspective, I think it would be better. But overall, I'd return to it to see what it's got to offer a little bit more. And I don't mind playing a bit more. But at the moment, I think it needs more work, personally. It needs a few things tweaked. Hopefully, they are still supporting this game with a bit of luck and they will make some improvements. But as it is for now, I'm, I'm happy to have the key, of course, and I'm, I'm happy to keep playing it. I might play a little bit more off camera if nobody requests it and then maybe make a return visit for an episode to sort of show off what I've done. Let me know in the comments if you've watched this video, you think that's a good idea or let me know if you want me to keep playing and I'll play a little bit more. OK, guys, thank you so much. If you watched, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you liked the video, please do like it. That would be great. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks very much. Take care. See you soon. Bye for now.